I paid $850 for this Pokemon mystery box on eBay. No, wait, taxes. I paid $945.88 for this Pokemon mystery box on eBay. The seller did not know it was for me. So let's see if the risk pays off. What do you think? Is this gonna be trash or cash? Oh, and as I unpack this, two things. First, this video is sponsored by TCG Stadium. If you don't wanna take a risk on eBay like me, then you'll wanna check them out. More on them later, plus how you can save 10% on your orders. Secondly, every poll and every graded card in this box will be given away to a lucky viewer. That could be you. So stick around to the end to see what you might get. Let's hope it's good because I've gotten burned here before by mystery boxes, but I've also opened some bangers too. Let's see what we got. First, a single Fusion Strike Checkout Blister, a Shining Fates Mad Party Pin Collection Box, a Mighty Mysterious Tin featuring Snorlax, another tin from the same series, this time with Mimikyu, and another with Darkrai. Then we've got the Hoopa V Collection Box, that's fairly recent, a Shining Fates Pikachu V Collection Box, nice, with a couple packs missing, it looks like. They probably shifted in the back, but we'll see. A Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box, that is a lot of Shining Fates here. Hmm. I thought this was supposed to feature vintage stuff. Then we have this Pokemon Trainer Trivia Game thingy. Pokemon Trainer Trivia! Who will be the best trainer? To answer, press the white part of the Pokeball for true, or the red part for false. How do you, how do you stop this? True or false? Charizard always seeks out stronger opponents. True. Oh. That's what I pressed. Anyway, inside this stock Xbox, we've got, yo, look at all those packs. Okay, that's gonna be sick. Hopefully we get some older, maybe some vintage or, or semi-vintage packs in there, we'll see. And finally, this envelope that says open last. I love that. This must have the graded cards in it as promised in the description. We'll see, these could be duds or studs. I have no clue what's inside. Now you see this price right here? That's the current value of all the sealed stuff that we've seen so far. At the end of the video, you're gonna see the value of everything in this box, but in two ways. First, the value of everything sealed. And second, the value of everything after we open everything. And we are going to open all the packs in here. Which do you think is gonna have the higher value in the end? Keeping it sealed or opening all the packs? Comment what you think now and see if you got it right by the end. All right, let's open this Fusion Strike pack. First we have, a non-hollow Maractus. See, in this case, it would have been more valuable to keep it sealed, but of course, you never know. You never know. Next up, the Shining Fates Bunnelby collection. We have the Bunnelby pin and the Bunnelby promo card and three Shining Fates packs. I actually really love this set. You can get multiple hits in a pack, which is awesome. And Dredna, non-hollow. Okay, rough start, but that's okay. We got plenty more to go. Next pack, a Yan Mega. Okay. And last pack in this collection box, we have all right, our first hit of the day, a Frostmoth Baby Shiny and a Cramorant V, making up for lost ground. Okay, next up, our tins, starting with the Snorlax. Let's see what the packs are in here. We got Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and a Rebel Clash. Okay, let's look at that Snorlax. All right, I really like this, actually. It's a hollow, uh, not an actual promo, though, just part of the Rebel Clash set. All right, let's get some hits. Vivid Voltage, we're getting a Zerorora Hollow. All right, kind of a hit, right? Darkness Ablaze up next. We've pulled the Charizard, the VMAX once before. Okay, green card, that's nothing in this one. And Rebel Clash, here we go. Rebel Clash, Rebel Trash. Okay, Whew. okay, we got a lot more to go, don't worry. Next tin, Mimikyu, let's do this. We got the Hollow Mimikyu, part of Darkness Ablaze, not an actual promo like the Snorlax. Vivid Voltage, we have, okay, Snorlax Hollow. Okay, this actual Snorlax is popular in the TCG, so that's pretty decent for a regular Hollow, I'll take it. Darkness Ablaze, a Kangaskhan Hollow, all right? And Rebel Clash, a Barbacle Non-Hollow Rare. What even are you? A collective Pokemon, all right, let's keep going. Okay, the Darkrai tin coming up. Got that Darkrai Hollow. I'm about to cry in the dark. Just kidding, positive vibes all the way, right? I mean, the array of stuff in this box is pretty decent, in fact. We're just not getting any pulls and that's not the seller's fault, but still. Anyway, it just takes one. Vivid Voltage, you want that Chonkachu? All right, Lucario, non-hollow. Darkness Ablaze, nothing. Rebel Clash, Mandibuzz, oof. Okay, moving on. The Hoopa V-Box, we got more modern packs inside of this guy. Let's take a look at that hollow. A very nice Hoopa V. And we have the Big Daddy version too. Put that aside and let's open up some Fusion Strike, Vivid, and Evolving Skies. Let's start with Vivid and we've got a hit. Yes, okay. A Talonflame V. That is a start. I'll take that. Evolving Skies, a 
non-hollow Lilligant. Fusion Strike, an alt art would be really nice right now. And we've got the Aqua Rabbit. All right, next pack. Okay, the Deoxys Hollow featuring all the types, Fusion, Single Strike, and Rapid Strike. All right, it's kind of rough so far, but we got more to go. Next box, the Pikachu V Collection Box. This seemed to be missing a couple packs, but they're probably just in the back there. All right, we got that Pikachu V Promo, then his bigger brother Jumbo Pika Promo, and four more Shining Fates. Okay, they are in the back. We're good, we're good. Let's start with the Dragapult artwork. In it, we've got a an amazing rare Kyogre. Not that valuable, but definitely a gorgeous card for sure. Bionicle Shamu in the house and an Indeedee Hollow behind him. Next pack, a non-Hollow Selby. Next pack, cute little Manaphy. All right, one more to go and another Manaphy. All right, okay, more Shining Fates now. We've got an Elite Trainer Box. This is definitely very valuable sealed, but hopefully we can make up for the cost of opening this with the pulls that we get inside. Although I must say at this point, this is a lot of Shining Fates. I mean, if we pull another Manaphy, <laughs> I mean, I love this set, but but variety is good in a mystery box, right? And, and so far it just seems kind of repetitive. Anyway, inside this, we have the Eevee VMAX promo. Always good to see an Eevee. We'll keep this in the wrapper and let's get to it. The Toxtricity pack, we've got a Ducklet from the Shiny subset. All right, good start. Next pack. Just a Dreadnought, that's all right. Next pack, just a dread. No, 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 no. We can't keep doing this here. All right, next pack, a Cramorant V, which we pulled earlier. Next pack, hey, this, okay, this may be the very best pull so far. A Shiny Inteleon with the Shady Dealings ability. This is a very, very playable and very in-demand card in the TCG. If you play the Sobble Drizzile combo, this is the card you want with it. I actually really love this card. Nice, okay, next pack, a nope. Next pack. Okay, our first full art of the video, the Rillaboom V from the Shiny Vault. Nowhere near the same amount of value as the Inteleon, even though it's a full art. Crazy, huh? And a Galarian Weezing behind it. We're on the home stretch. We have the Anchor Pokemon, Delmize V. Two more packs left. We've got a Galarian Run Rungi. I can't even pronounce it, but it's shiny. And uh, we got a Celebi in the back. Okay. Corviknight pack for the last pack magic. We've got. A more Pico V. Okay, not a terrible ETB. I'm not quite sure we made up for the cost if we had kept it sealed, but hey, we got more to go. Next up, let's see what we got in here. A lot of packs. I'd love to see some even evolutions, some sun and moon sets, cosmic eclipse perhaps. What about breakpoint? Like all those kinds of stuff. Face collide, lost thunder. Like give me something old, please. Modern. All right. Okay, I do see a sun and moon base. I see you. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, a lot more modern here, okay. Okay, here's what we got. And remember, I'm keeping track of the total value if we were to leave all of these sealed too. Stick around to the end to see if it was worth opening any of these things, right? So what's your guess, by the way? Ding that bell notification icon because I promise you this will be entertaining either way, my surprise or my demise, we'll see. Okay, we've got four sword and shield base, four sun and moon base, looking forward to that, seven chilling rain, five Vivid Voltage packs, six of the Battle Styles, three Darkness Ablaze, and Dose Evolving Skies. Cool, we got a lot of packs here, 31 in total, which is kind of an odd number, but I'm feeling it, I'm feeling some pulls here, right? But I'm most excited about what's coming next, which is the open last envelope. I hope there's some graded cards in there and maybe something else. We'll see, so let's speed through this. I'm not gonna do the pack trick anymore. In reverse chronological order, starting with Evolving Skies, Nada, and a Victini Hollow. Okay, Chilling Rain. Come on, Chilling Rain, no whammies. All right, Galarian Articuno V. Next pack, nothing. Let's keep going until we get another hit. And yo, a gold card. Finally, a secret rare something, right? A rugged helmet, not super valuable, but it's nice to see something out of these packs, right? It's just nice to see anything here. And a Volcanion V. Chilling Rain, not terrible, which is surprising for me, in fact. On to Battle Styles. We've got a Steelix Hollow, an Aegislash Hollow, okay? And that's it from Battle Styles. On to Vivid Voltage. Looking for anything here. Nothing. All right. Darkness Ablaze now. Hey, a Charizard V. Okay, not the V Max, right? That everybody wants, but hey, uh, still a Charizard nonetheless. That's always good to see. Next pack, a Hoopa. All right, next pack, a Hoopa again. Deja Vu, On to Sword and Shield Base. Boltund Hollow, so many hollows with these packs. What's going on here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, Ooh. Sun and Moon, 
Save us, please. Nothing in the first pack. N nothing in the second pack. Two cannon again? And the last pack of Sunday Moon, come on. The fish with the lips and the teeth, come on. All right, if you don't want Rebel Trash or Chilling Pain or Evolving Cries, trust me, you want to check out TCG Stadium. TCG-Stadium.com is where you can go to pick out all the booster boxes and the packs that you might want at really, really good deals. I've ordered from them before. And they even have singles that you can choose from, from both English and Japanese cards. And they are the sponsors of this video. So big shout out and thank you to TCG Stadium. And also, if you use the discount code PAT10 during checkout, you'll also receive 10 percent off. They have a lot of modern stuff. You could even potentially pre-order some stuff from there as well. And be sure to sign up for their newsletter so you can get first notice of pre-order opportunities and special deals. So if you don't want to take a risk like me getting mystery boxes that obviously you never know what you're going to get, why don't you go with a trusted source like TCG Stadium. Oh, and this thing, uh, you'll see this in a later video. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss it. Anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully we can pull some stuff to make up for the value here so far in this box. Open last. Last hope, last chance. Okay, black bubble mailer for protection for what? Let's see. Okay, let's open this up. We're revealing PSA slabs. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, three of them, nice. And ooh, I recognize that pack on the right there. I think it's vintage. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is from seeing it from behind? Let's go through these one by one, starting with this one here. All right, a PSA Mint 9 2000 Neo Genesis Unlimited Ampharos Hollow. Okay, okay, we're making up some value now. I love the Neo sets. These are just so amazing to look at. This is a decent card too, not some common graded card. I like it, good start. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, okay, another vintage card, even older, 1999 Fossil Unlimited Lapras. Very nice at a PSA Mint 9 as well. Someone's gonna win these. Don't forget, you gotta stick around to the end to know how to win, and we're not done yet. We got one more PSA card to go. This could be the big one. The banger, it's a Mint 9 Charizard V. Ah, this is the promo card from the Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box. I remember so many people were sending this into grading. There are 7,422 of these Mint 9s and 12,272 of them in a PSA 10. That's so many. Okay, so the vintage slabs were obviously better, but we've got this one pack left to open. Definitely from Wizards of the Coast, as you can see, we've got, yo, there are two packs in here. Team Rocket. Yo, let's go. My absolute favorite set to, what a surprise, right? We get the Dark Charizard maybe, Dark Blastoise, Dark Dragonite, so great. And of course, behind it we have an unlimited fossil. Two awesome Wizards of the Coast era packs. And like I said, we're gonna open them up. A part of me doesn't want to, being a pack collector, but we gotta do it, we gotta do it. So Fossil, you're up first. Let's slow roll this one just a tad. We've got Mr. Fuji, I love that artwork. 23 years ago this set came out, that's insane. Kingler, Omastar, Ammonite, Gambler, Grimer, Shelter, Tentacool, Slowpoke, Zubat, and I think we're coming to our rare, a non holo Kabutops. All right, all right, yeah, we missed on that one, but still super fun to open, super nostalgic, right? All the cards inside this pack and the Team Rocket pack will be included in the giveaway. And as we get ready to open the final pack, let me tell you exactly how you can win every single graded card, every hit, and all of the vintage cards I'm opening. All you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon, and tell me in the comments, what's one collection goal you have for this year? Maybe it's finishing a particular set or your first graded card, it doesn't matter. By the way, I'm gonna randomly choose a single winner 30 days after this video goes live. So you've got some time, good luck. Imposter Oaks Revenge, Dark Gloom, a Dark Vaporeon, nice. Any sort of evolutions out of the set is, are, are great. Meowth, Oddish, Coughing, nice. Diglett, Grimer, Eevee, let's go. Another really good common pull here. We got a Dratini, also great. And I think we're pulling up on the rare right behind this. What do you think, hollow, non-hollow, it's, a holo, let's go. Dark Arbok holo with a six swirl on the bottom left. Nice. Here are the results from the mystery box. If we had kept them sealed or if we had kept them open, did you call it right? Let me know in the comments along with your collection goal and good luck. Hey, Trivia Trainer, was this a box that I shouldn't have bought?